Hello, I will be demonstrating the different actions that you can perform on PDF files within Eisenwort. So as you can see, we are looking at a PDF file here, which has 17 pages. Now the very first action specific to PDF files is view printable PDF. If you try and print this page directly from the browser, you go file and print. Let's try again. The print window opens up. And you can see that the preview is not very nice because it's trying to print the entire page and not just the document. So let's cancel this and let's click on view printable PDF. So this opens up the document in a new browser tab and allows you to print it. And now it will print just the document and not everything else. So this action is not available to everybody. It's for example, not available to users with viewer access. It's only available to users with consumer level access and higher. So let's cancel out of this for now. Now let's look at the next action here. The next action is append PDF document. If you click this, what it will do is it will allow you to add another PDF at the end of this PDF. So right now this is 17 pages. If you scroll down to the bottom, you see this is the last page. It says nature index, India performance overview. So let's say append PDF document. Now it will ask me to select another document which I want to append to this one. So I say select and then it will ask me to browse the repository to find the document that I want to append. So I'll go into sites, I'll go into hmm, where did I create this? I created this under training document library folder A. So here I have another PDF called test3.pdf. I'll select this and I'll say OK. And I say OK again. This will take a few seconds to finish appending. And it's done. So now I refresh the view. So now you see a couple of things. One, the version has gone up to version 1.1. Number of pages have become 18. If you scroll to the bottom, you see a new page has been appended. This is the one we just added. Now the next action here is delete pages from PDF. So let's do that. Let's click on delete pages. Now it asks me, which page do I want to delete? So say I want to delete the very last page, the one that I just added. So I select that and I say, OK. You can also do multi-select. So say I want to delete page 18 and 17. I can hold down the Shift key and I can select two pages together. And let's click OK. This will take a few seconds to complete the delete action. And it says delete. So I refresh the page again. And now you can see that this is version 1.2. And the last page is page 16. So the last two pages are gone. The next action here is insert pages into PDF. So this is different from the append action. The append action only allows you to enter a page or enter a new PDF at the end of the current PDF. Insert pages will allow you to insert it anywhere within the PDF. So it could be at the beginning, it could be in the middle, or it could be at the end. So let's do insert. Again, it will ask me to select a PDF that I want to insert. So let's browse again to the same file that we used the last time. Let's go into training, document library, folder A, 
and test three dot video and say okay and let's say i want to insert it at page number 50 and say okay it'll take a second it says the document was successfully inserted again i refresh it Now you see pages have become 17 again. And I scroll down. So at page number 15. So page number 15 is now the new PDF document that I have inserted. So that's it for this video. I'll continue these actions in the next video.